Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at creative uses for a color meter using the Siconic C800. This is a pretty typical scenario. Um, we have our key uh, from one direction and then behind we have a practical light um, giving this nice um, red wraparound uh, three-quarter backlight. The problem is that practicals like this one offer almost no output at all. So you have to supplement them with a real light. The problem with this becomes how to match exactly something like a IKEA practical coming through red plastic, which doesn't really conform to any particular um, tungsten temperature with the fixtures that you have. So this um, red light on the side of my face is actually being generated by a sky panel S60 on the bench next to me. It's what's giving me color, wraparound light and the exposure that I need to get a proper image. The process of matching um, the sky panel to the practical is what we have to do is meter the practical with the C800 in the XY format. This will give us a very precise form of um, color that n the typical hue and saturation can't really compete with. In this case, it's 0.6812 in the X value and 0.3185 in the Y value. Then we go ahead and put the sky panel into XY mode. We dial in our X and our Y values, and then we choose the intensity or the um, brightness of the unit um, to taste so that it doesn't overpower the subject and it's still feasibly coming from the practical. If we make this side much, much too bright, the audience will be conscious that this is a lit scene and not a practical scene. As you can see, um, the using XY, we can match the color of this exactly. It doesn't matter if it's um, old or the plastic's faded or it's bouncing off a different colored wall. With When you meter with a color meter, you get the, an exact value. And if you have a light like the sky panel, where you can input X, Y values, you'll get that precise same color. That is how to match a practical using X, Y with a color meter to light your sets with an absolute color value. Next, we're gonna look at another feature of the C800, which is the multi-lights function. What this allows me to do is meter multiple lights in my scene and adjust them um, with brightness and color temperature and color to match. So here I'm using a um, tungsten um, 200 watt as my backlight. The tungsten is the only one that isn't um, color manageable. So what I'm gonna do is meter all three lights, set the tungsten as my um, light to match to, and the light meter is gonna tell me how much I have to adjust these other lights so that they match the color temperature of the tungsten. So I'm gonna go into my um, multi-light uh, mode. I'm going to select light A, then I'm going to meter the tungsten light as it's hitting the back of my head and use my hand to cover the sensor so that none of the other lights are hitting it. See now I have tungsten um, set, the tungsten backlight set as my A. I'm going to go back to the um, multi-light setup and use this key light as my B light. I'm gonna meter that and then use my fill light as light C. By tapping the small circle next to any of the particular lights I've metered, I can set that as the one to match to. It will now tell me what gels or adjustments I need to make to these lights um, to have it match this one. So now um, if I meter the B and C lights again, I should get something very different. So now the light meter is telling me that pretty much all of the lights are in uh, within 100 Kelvin of one another. This one needs a little less blue. So now if I convert the camera into the appropriate white balance, I will have a perfectly exposed shot with three lights that match exactly in both color temperature and color cast. So they are some creative uses for a color meter like the Siconic C800. If you like this video, please subscribe. All the products listed are linked in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.